I'm Andy Kekoch, and I'm Executive Director of the Nova Scotia Woodlot Owners and Operators Association and a member of the Steering Committee for the Family Forest Network. The Family Forest Network is a group of 11 organizations that for many years have advocated for more ecologically sensitive forest practices. About 10 years ago, the province began to fund groups to talk about what the basic challenges were for small landowners, how we could address them, and get people to be both active managers and good stewards. In 2017, former Premier Stephen McNeil empaneled an independent review of forest practices in Nova Scotia under William Leahy, who's the president of King's College. Leahy released a report in which he said that the province would be wise to be more focused on the health of the forest resource than on maximizing the short-term economic returns we were getting. Leahy said basically that if we wanted to continue to have a forest industry, we had to think beyond short-term. We had to think about how do we make sure that our forests are healthy and productive in perpetuity. And he particularly focused on a concept or series of practices called ecological forestry. Bill said that the way that forests grow and die naturally should guide our decisions about how to manage the forest. Two years ago, we submitted an application to the Forestry Innovation Transition Trust for a large project that would pilot these practices on small woodlands all across the province. And a year ago, we found out that we were successful. What that really entails is developing procedures to identify what ecological forestry is, how we implement it, how we would measure before and after harvests to know what we accomplished by doing it, and then to involve a robust pool of really capable scientists to work with us to analyze the data and determine what we accomplished. So it's, it's both a very practical pilot and a very serious research project. It's really important because small landowners typically don't have the background in all of the current research. Uh, they may not live on their woodlands. So they're not going to be the early adopters of ecological forestry concepts until someone can help them to understand what these concepts are and how they match up with the person's goals and priorities. And that's that's really the point of this, right? We'll engage with 150 to 200 small landowners all across Nova Scotia, and we'll do these harvests and these timber stand improvement treatments, and, and people can make personal decisions about whether that's appropriate for their own goals on their own properties. That's really what ecological forestry does. It thinks about the long term and it says that the long term matters and in fact that the long term is more important than anything else. It's all about letting the forest tell us how it typically grows and dies. It's really that simple. Family Forest Network is currently looking to engage with more landowners and more contractors about the work that needs to be done for this project. Mm -hmm.